Hi. So my educational giant is Ella Flagg Young, um, and she is quite an amazing woman from when I was researching everything that she's done. Uh, she was born January 15th, 1845 to Theodore and Jane Flagg, and she was born in Buffalo, New York. She didn't attend school till she was about 10 years old, and by that time she had taught herself to read and write at about that same age. Um, she didn't have support from her parents, and she dropped out of school a few months after she started because she wasn't feeling intellectually challenged. Uh, at age 15, she took the certification exam to be a teacher. Luckily, she passed, but she was told that she was too young to be a teacher, and her mother told her she'll never become a teacher. Um, luckily, Ella didn't listen to her parents and didn't give up, uh, so she persevered and went to the Chicago Normal School, uh, and she graduated in 1862 from that school. Later, she studied at the University of Chicago under John Dewey, and she received her Ph.D. in 1900 at the, at the age of 55. And there's a quote from President Hinckley um, that says, it is, in, it is so important that you young men and you young women get all of the education that you can. The Lord has said very plainly that his people are to gain knowledge of countries and kingdoms and of things of the world, through the process of education, even by study and by faith. Education is the key which will unlock the door of opportunity for you. It is worth sacrificing for, it is worth working at, and if you educate your mind and your hands, you will be able to make a great contribution to the society of which you are a part, and you will be able to reflect honorably on the church of which you are a member. My dear young brothers and sisters, take advantage of every educational opportunity that you can possibly afford, and your, you fathers and mothers encourage your sons and daughters to gain an education which will bless their lives. Um, that was said in the uh, Enzyme uh, June 1999. Uh, when uh, actually uh, Ella Flag Young married William Young in 1868. They didn't have any children, but when Ella was 27, William died. Um, she was pretty much the only one left out of her family because her parents, her brother and her sister, had already died, uh, leaving her with no close relatives. So after her husband's death, she... Um, devoted the rest of her life to uh, teaching. Her teaching career spanned over the space of 53 years from 1862 to 1915. Um, she became the superintendent of different schools in Chicago in 1887, the professor of education in the universe, at the University of Chicago in 1899, the principal of the Chicago Normal School in 1905. Uh, she also became the superintendent of schools of Chicago from 1909 until her resignation in 1915. She served on the Board of Education for the state of Illinois from 1888 to 1913. Um, and she was the first woman in America to head a large school system in Chicago. And she was elected as the first woman president of the National Education Association from 1910 to 1911. Um, she was superintendent during the 1911 spring break, uh, and she was able to head an overall search for a five-year-old named Elsie Parabek, who disappeared uh, April 8th of that year. Um, Ella died uh, in the 1918 flu pandemic, and later uh, in the years, the Chicago public school system named an elementary school in honor of Ella Flagg Young, and it still continues today to be used in elementary school. Um, there is a scripture uh, in Doctrine and Covenants, section 130, uh, verses 18 and 19, and they say, Whatever principle of intelligence we attain unto in this life, it will rise with us in the resurrection. And if a person gains more knowledge and intelligence in this life through diligence and obedience than another, 
he will have so much the advantage in the world to come. And I believe that's what Ella Flagg Young did. I don't believe she was a member of the church, but she took advantage of the opportunity to gain an education despite what her parents said that she would never be able to become a teacher. She wasn't smart enough. And honestly, that with her gaining her PhD at 55 is still quite extraordinary today. Um, not a lot of people gain their PhDs uh, that quick. And I don't think they gain their PhDs really ever in education. Um, and in that t time period, uh, there were not a lot of people that actually finished school. They would go for a few years and then they would drop out to farm or to go find other jobs. And they weren't as prepared as they should be. And it just shows that Ella was definitely dedicated to education. It was something that she loved. And I hope to be able to follow in her footsteps to be able to be a teacher like her.